Hello, tacticians and strategists, fleet commanders and Viper pilots. Welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball and the Grand Mission Chapter 10 Negotiation that is waiting for us. And well, let's see what that is about. Gisela is as ready as she could be. Well, okay, we don't have a full elite fleet and people could argue, well, things were going so well, we could have done a whole additional turn around here just staying around you know but i think well we had some breathing space here at icarus so i think it was okay let's do it also we are not getting any fleet stronger than this year in a while anyway i guess so let's proceed let's see what the cylons want to talk about let's see i wonder if we will see one of the base stars now that will surely be interesting. No negotiation. Okay. Ah, yeah. There are ships. And I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about this. So we have a big planet over there and then one there. And like something like a wide angle of asteroids all over this thing it looks pretty cool and well we do have space to maneuver but let's keep a healthy distance here so our corvette it is uh, the rainier if i'm not the slinger it's the slinger oh no sorry it's uh, the base uh, the battle stars the rainier um the slinger up in the front hmm well, we could actually, yeah, let's keep a healthy distance. Well, let's go here, maybe. Sandwich formation, double sandwich, and then like, we could like go around like that. But I'm also, I feel that someone might jump behind us or something. So let's rather keep a healthy distance here. Like that. So, and then some armor piercers would be a good idea, I guess. So let's have this one. Armor piercers and indeed the slinger. Could have a nuke. No, no, no. Um, well, but we could actually have unguided munitions, maybe. Oh, let's let's actually let's be more defensive so the Cylons know that uh, that we are non-threatening because well we have honor of course and uh, we want to negotiate so let's not be too threatening yeah I think I think that is the right way to go so proceeding so what is going on here fleet group is, is jumping in ah. three Two, one. Thanks, Helena, for the countdown. Jump in. Precise jumping. Yeah, Greatest very contact, good. sir. They're openly broadcasting Cylon IFFs. No hostile movements, but no sign of Clothos either. Uh huh. That's weird. Um, what to do now? There's some marker here. Long range radius. I smell a trap. But I always smell a trap. But that's just what the Cylons do. So we do have indeed like a wide angle of asteroids here, which is actually pretty cool. Um, big planet in the background. We can see all the cities all over the planet. Is this the moon then? No. Hmm. Well, okay, well, I guess. I guess uh, the slinger is just boosting forward then. Let's fly towards this point. I guess this is the meeting point. Yeah, and well, let's actually start the Vipers and the Vipers are going to escort the Manticore. Yeah, although starting uh, launching the Vipers could be perceived as threatening. Launching alert Vipers. But uh, well, let's let's show them some strength, so. 
launching all vipers yes sir we are not we are not rerouting any uh, energy to the weapon system so that is enough non-threatening i guess so let's fly like around here so say we all so we are not flying our main ships like close to this point here but maybe a bit closer so we can actually uh, provide some support for the slinger just in case something jumps like around here or so and we should also stay together i think so let's let's roll like this vipers in the sky yeah and then well, I guess we can keep boosting. And let's have let let's have four squadrons um with the slinger. Let's defend the slinger. And the other four just stay here with our ships. You guys defend, let's say here. The end total. Let's do that. That way, they are not we are not perceived as uh, threatened, uh, threatening, I guess. So okay, ending the turn. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, someone jumps in. Commander, you are expected. Ah. Uh, Oh, did we just, are we, oh, come on, did we just, uh, what is happening? Um, are we exploding now? Oh, come on. What is happening? They, she just jumped, they, the space star just jumped into our position. I think we are destroyed. Oh, come on. I think we are destroyed now. <laughs> that is stupid. Yeah, yeah, we we have a collision. They just jumped in there. Oh my goodness. What is that? What is that? Sorry guys, but that is like really bad mission design. Yeah. Like, I mean, that was, I think like it is to be expected that someone would uh, send a scout ship forward. Don't you think? Or is it so? so unexpected that uh, that that we we're, that we still have a manticore on our fleet but well I guess we are exploding now so by the way the slinger let's uh, let's actually go full defensive brace for impact guys the Cylons are reckless oh actually no we still have yeah we still have the yeah I guess we are exploding that is that is dumb. I I think we need to reload. We need to reload this one. But let's look at the crap. So that is a, I have to significantly uh, criticize the game now. But well, ending the turn. We are being observed. Bring your proxy within short wave range so that we can use more secure channels. Receiving handshake protocols between the base star and our ship. It's heavy stuff. No one's going to listen in on this conversation. Oh, okay. No, we have not exploded. We did not explode, but well. Okay. Uh, well, we have a base star, guys. We have the first base star. Like, for real. Let's have a look at it. So, uh, actually, like, flying over it and, you know, do some scanning, I, I guess. That is allowed. So what do they have? I don't see much. Like, do they even have turrets? I'm not sure. I don't see any turrets. But they do have two missile tubes and three squadrons. One radar, two, two modern radars and one heavy radar, okay. 
Um, well, let's while we talk, I guess like this right here, this is the what she says, keep your proxy within comms range of clothos. Oh yeah. So let's actually oh my goodness, what is over there? Let's have a look. We have a nemesis, we have a revenant, we have a Cerberus. Now that is actually pretty cool. Uh, the Cerberus does have turrets there. It looks like three turrets, one here, one there, and one here. Like for each angle. And the Cerberus has four squadrons. Radar, prototype, radar, prototype, radar, prototype, and one heavy radar. Now that is pretty incredible. It's better than our carrier. Well, let's use the opportunity and and actually like fly over here a bit. And identify these guys. Yeah. Yeah, and the Vipers. The Vipers stay defensive. Defend the Slinger. And well, actually, like, I mean, now we are negotiating or talking, right? So, um, it would probably be a good idea to stay clear of all those ships behind there, but to be in shooting range so we can actually pound this space star pretty quickly in case they get hostile and even if someone jumps in here behind us which is rather likely i guess um well we well, let's let's turn around a bit so let's turn around like so yeah let's turn around like so Let's form, let's form a battle line a bit. Frigates, going like this. We're not threatening anybody, of course. Like you guys. Let's move here. And they need to, if they go uh, offensive, they will need, uh, they, they will go, uh, or they will have to launch their squadrons. So I guess we will have some, some time to react or some, if someone jumps in from behind. So, but let's, uh, let's keep four squadrons close to our ships. The other four are uh, escorting the slinger. So I guess that's fine. Slinger is identifying everything. Well, and I guess PCM, oh, no hostile targets present. We can't shoot the PCM just into the sky. Hmm, okay, well, ending the turn then. Commander, your escalation of resistance must stop. <laughs> Why? Is it serious? It actually expects us to roll over because it said so? I am the first of three IL models. We are the generals, the logic, the trinity of the Cylon. And I am humanity's only chance at continued survival. As the first of the IL, it is my purpose to perfect the Cylon form. To fulfill this divine mandate, I manufactured a war profitable to both our peoples. A war profitable to our people? I mean, okay, it's true that uh, like wars usually cause a nice spike in techno technological advancement. Oh, there's another one. Another Cerberus. Oh, I have such a bad feeling here. But well, okay, let's. We need to stay inside of this com range here. And well, how about we fly like this? And like that? Are we getting close to those guys over there? Just like in here, like so. Can we do that? A ward, that is, that's very unethical though. Very unethical. We are just flying here now. 
if something happens, then I, I guess we need to start pounding the base star with our guns and shoot missiles at these two Nemesai first. That one. And that one. Let's have a look. Long range traders. Okay. Frigates. You guys move there, and you guys move here. So, just in case, but they are close enough to react if someone jumps behind in from behind us. And well, I mean, we have enough firepower, so it would be they would need to jump in several ships for to threaten us anyway. Yeah, well. So, manufacturing a war for mutual advancement. Yeah, so this Clothos doesn't have any ethical subroutines installed, I guess. That is not a good thing. Well, let's, let's continue hearing what it has to say. Although it strives for peace, humanity is most prolific in conflict. New technologies every day, domestic, military. What you invent, we integrate. Each iteration an evolutionary leap for my people. Commander, mm. you can't trust this robot. We're putting our people at risk for some Cylon evolutionary conspiracy. That might as well be... I am not here to attack your proxy. I require your cooperation, as you require mine. I seek negotiation. As a display of trust, I have diverted full control of my base star to the commander's console. My liberty is completely within your control. Is that so? Oh. Yeah, well. Ah, well, then let's let's move it away from... Con can it, does it have a target uh, here? This stands. Turrets. Oh. Interesting. So there is. Capitals. Oh, yeah. Closest. Uh, top and bottom. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, it is blinking. Oh, yeah, here. So it does have two. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, well, you can hardly see them, but they are there, and like from below. Oh, we can't look from below, huh? So, medium turrets. No, heavy. Accuracy is medium. Two heavy sets of turrets. Oh, two sets of heavy turrets, sorry. And then, well, what else can we do? System processes? Ah, here, there. Oh, but we can't change anything. Damage reduction, CIC. Armory. Oh, we can do it in. Oh, we can do it individually. Okay, interesting. And what happens if we do this? Oh, then. Okay, interesting. Squadron repair. Damage reduction. Armory. Marine armor. But that's like if we are being. So there's a maximum number, all in all. Marine strength, marine armor, boarding strength. Well, navigation. Oh, we can actually, yeah, let's put a lot of navigation and let's fly it towards us. Tech bay, radius range, firewall regeneration that can go to zero. Hangar, squadron launch. Yeah, let's launch all the squadrons. Let's do that. Strength goes to five. Oh, it's a bit annoying though that. Let's do this one here. Navigation. Fire control. It's a bit annoying that uh, we can't, like, oh, we can lock it. Oh, yeah, we can lock it like that. Okay. And the hangar. Yeah, I guess so. Like so. What was that? Distribution of power. Redistribute power in a Cylon ship. Okay. Okay. 
but we can't really fly further, right? Not much, at least. Well, let's fly towards our ships and away from, from the Cylons. And well, why not? Let's launch the squadrons. Launch all squadrons. They have a, a two radar squadrons and one heavy radar. Question is what happens now? Can we identify these guys? This should actually be enough, right? Let's go low. I want to identify those three over there. So, do we still... Yeah, no, no real enemy contacts. However, they are considered enemies now, or what? Oh, let's check something. So, can we shoot this one? Oh, no, we can do it. So, what? what is going on? Is this... Is it... Uh, is it hostile now, or what? Did they just become hostile? Oh, yes, they... They became hostile, huh? Oh, that's actually not so good. Um... So the Dreadus range. Should we shoot missiles? Like, like what's what, what do we have to do? Defend Clothos's base die yeah? up. So they are attacking now. Okay, well. So uh, let's let's uh, system processes. Let's have a look at this one again. So I guess we should increase engineering for the damage reduction. Actually, hangar should also be high. Yeah, armory can be at zero. We don't need any marines. Um, tech bay. So yeah, let's have the fire control. Boarding strength. Like how much do we have? This one. Squadron repair, subsystems repair, damage reduction. That needs to be high because they are probably shooting us now. Yeah. And well, yeah, fire control, turret range, 120%, navigation, pitch control, maximum distance. Squadron evade. Radius range. No, I think we can put this one here to zero. Armory, boarding strength. I mean, we have a heavy radar, and we probably should uh, board one of the revenants. Ah, the squadron. Oh, it's a, there's a delay in the squadron launch, actually. Oh, we, so we want this one to be at full as well. Just so the squadrons are quick in the sky. Um, well then, I guess... Do we have any points left? No, not really. Okay, well, I guess then we are reducing... Oh, we need the fire control because we want the we want to shoot missiles at the uh, at the nemesis. <clears throat> yeah. So well, then I guess we have to just trust that they are not shooting us yet. They are also not really in in range, right? So let's shoot missiles at this nemesis. We are flying around. Like this is the longest, yeah. Let's fly away like this. And we can't, yeah, we can't go further around. So this is the front. So let's fly like so. Manticore. Focus fire on that one. We are shooting the PCM. Like here. Or maybe actually even there. We 
because that way we are also helping the base star in case missiles are coming from this direction and yeah I guess like two of our Viper squadrons here they can actually like three of them they could actually go for the nemesis yeah let's attack the nemesis over there the other one remains defensive so no one jumped in behind us so the the, the thing is the Cylons are attacking the base star now defend Colossus' base star Okay, so then, full attack, we're shooting missiles at this guy with our frigates, that's two more and like two more uh, salvos, so with two with the base star that should be enough I hope, then you guys fly in like this. And we are shooting missiles at this nemesis by munitions and our two battle stars, our other two battle stars fly like this. We then also shoot miss their missiles here at this one. Okay. Let's see if that is enough. And well your navigation is high, so I guess I don't know what the what the range is but let's target this one here and the revenants will be the the biggest threat for the space star i guess like the cerberus it does have some artillery here as well but it's it's i guess it will be rather slow so i guess we should be out of range yeah so then you guys move it forward like there and you guys also punch it like there and you are helping out against this nemesis there yeah okay so I guess that's the best we can do ending the turn commander some of the Cylon forces are activating. To minimize losses on both sides, this system of conflict must be stabilized. Escalation will only lead to humanity's ruin. Admiral Kane's unbridled ambition risks all of... Sir, the Cylons are attacking their own base star. We are too late. Lachesis wakes. My fate remains in your hands. Until the FTL drive resets, my base star is under your control, Commander. Well... What does it mean? We can't flee with this one. We launched the squadrons. Ah, radar squadron, heavy radar, radar squadron. Well then, this heavy radar, can you actually defend the base star? So these missiles are going for the base star. Radar squadron. Well, we do have this one now. One Viper squadron is here, that's good. Three guys, you three, you attack, yeah, you are attacking the nemesis. So we don't have any trouble with missiles. We've been shot at, but we identified these three here. They are elite, one elite Talon. So three Talons. Oh, they have war drivers, all right. One radar squadron over there, okay. And then, well, our Manticore needs to punch out now. Let's punch away. Um, and well, they are shooting at the at the radar, so let's fly away like so and towards our other ships. So Clothos needs to be protected, A. Eh? Well. So I guess these missiles should actually finish off this uh, nemesis nicely enough. You guys continue defending. You should be uh, done with this missile promptly enough. Um, and yeah, well, actually, like, how about? Yeah, I think they are they are not quick enough. 
So let's actually attack this revenant there. Let's attack this revenant in force with all of them. Because this revenant is uh, dangerous for the space star. And let's try and mess up this revenant first. Our missiles should be enough to destroy this nemesis. Also, Artemis, you guys fly up like so. And then you also target this one. You guys fly forward. A bit lower than the others. You target this revenant. And the two adamants. You fly like this, presenting left broadside and in case this nemesis punches in on us, we can shoot them too. So you are, your stance, well, you just shot the missiles and let's have a look at the system processes, fire control. I don't see the turret range actually, like can we shoot this one? This fire. I mean, there's this here. Some processes. Like, if we. I think we need to increase the engineering now, but it's a good thing that the squadron are launched. Squadron evasion is 15, so maybe we keep this one up. Dreadus is probably. doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and I'm actually not sure about the turret, so actually let's have a look, like turrets. What's your range? I don't see the range here. I don't see the range. So what could that mean? Uh, I like the so I like the hangar. We don't need the tech bay, so maybe we are actually reducing the energy to the fire control. I guess it will not be very relevant anyway. Boarding strength, we are not boarding. Let's have engineering reducing impact, damage reduction 30%, squadron repair, subsystems repair. So let's have this one on, on full because I guess the revenants will start shooting at us. They are so close. Navigation should be high enough so we get a little bit away at least. And where does it say how many points we actually have? 90 processing power. Okay, zero. Can we can we do some more here? No. We don't have any more points. Okay, so navigation at maximum, hangar at maximum and engineering at maximum. I guess that's the best we can do at the moment. Yeah, that's 30, 30 and 30. So that's the 90 points processing power, all right. 10 system overclock, yeah. I guess it's fine. So let's get out of there. I guess the best thing this space star can do is actually shoot the missiles in offensive terms. So uh, let's, let's have these two our two vipers defend the base star and then these these three here uh, you guys yeah well this one is the closest so let's attack this one you are defending here they will fly in soon you guys need to <coughs> mess up the nemesis as quickly as possible and prepare so the missiles will finish it off at least. Um, yeah, and I guess that's all we can do at the moment. And I think we should, our, our capital ships, they are rolling like around from here. So after destroying the nemesis and the revenant, we are flying in like so, and then we are messing up the Cerberuses. I want to destroy them. And I guess it should also hamper the squadrons they can launch. And they haven't launched anything yet. Yeah. 
but well we are, we won't be able to do anything about them before they've launched their squadrons i guess they they seem they don't seem to be able to launch all at once now but well we'll see so there's one more missile coming for the for the slinger we'll see but the good thing is we do have a little bit of defensive going here with the PCM just in case although they don't have any missiles here but maybe something jumps in or so yeah this one these missiles here they might even trigger this this would be bad but well we'll see so ending the turn come on guys yeah good all missiles have been neutralized very good Yep, and as expected, they are shooting at the uh, base star. Very good. Double kill on orders, the Nemesis. Sir? We're so far off script here, I've got no idea what we're supposed to do. You require incentive. Very well. Deliver me from my executioners, and I will return to you the first of Sinon's miscreations. Commander, how does it know Sinon? Who is Sinon? The architect was responsible for much of our growth during the Capricorn Rebellion. It's lying. Sinan couldn't. He designed the Jupiters specifically to destroy the Cylon. Likewise, the Architect is culpable for many of our deaths. Thousands of lives lost, on both sides. You don't get to say that! Robots don't die, robots are destroyed! Death is death for all of God's creatures. There is no reincarnation, no reversion. A Centurion destroyed is a Cylon murdered. Well, you know, there's a difference between murder and just being killed, but whatever. So, uh, you, you, you fly away a little bit further, like so. And then I guess we should rotate around some more. So, our right side. Well, it's good that the Nemesis are gone now. All of you guys. Yeah, well, I think we can just chew through the uh, this nemesis now. You fly like so. Yes, Commander. Presenting left side. Focus fire on the Revenant. Ranger. Shoot missile at this Revenant. Oh, are we actually shooting? Oh, no. I, was it? Oh, we, we didn't lo uh, use it for such a long time. But I think it's not triggered by our own missiles, right? Yeah, that would be stupid, so it's not. We just have to uh, trust that it's not. So let's shoot at this Revenant as quickly as possible. You two present left broadside. Let's go in like so. We are shooting at this Revenant. Um, and you guys also come in. Understood. And you need to shoot at the Revenant also. And that should be enough firepower to melt it quickly. <clears throat> and then... Yeah. We are. So we do have a dogfight on our hands already. You three guys, attack the radar prototype. Yes, you guys hunt down the war drivers <clears throat> and that you do from uh, behind <clears throat> sorry and i think we don't have any missile problems at the moment so you two come in and attack this one understood and are you three or four no you're three okay oh and we do have a radar squadron on our flank so actually you guys attack this one yeah and then you two attack this one and then i guess once you are finished with this one you can go for the next one okay well they have a lot of armor yeah but let's attack let's attack this revenant here Let's attack the Revenant first, the leg target. And then once the Revenants are gone, we are going to land the heavy radar 
and board it, board the Cerberus with it, and then we can actually change the stands of this one, the system processes. I think we are still okay, like this, without fire control. Systems have been updated. Because we, uh, we still have one turn to reload the missile tubes on this one. So, okay, good. Um, or maybe we should even fly around like so and present the left side. Because the right side is being pounded right now. Okay, so let's go for it, like so. Manticore. Fly around like this. The left side in our rear has been punched a bit, but it's fine. Also going low. So, yeah. And I trust that our Vipers and the Raiders, they will find someone here. Oh, every Raider got, lost someone. Raiders, all right. Who shot them? Are they so clumsy that uh, uh, the Revenant can actually hit them? Or what's going on here? Well, anyway, ending the turn. Come on, guys. Melt this Revenant. They are shooting at us now. Results, yup, the base star is rotating. Come on, guys. Why is this one Sir, still Sinan in Sir, Sinan is AWOL. We can't locate him aboard Daedalus. What? Leave him unharmed, Commander. Allow me your architect, and I will give you the Galactica and what remains of its crew. How did they the get to the Daedalus? What about my sister? You fracking toaster. Is Samantha Agathon alive? The Galactica. The lieutenant's line of questioning is inconsequential. Commander, well. if that thing has hurt Sam, I swear I will personally hunt it down and scrap it for parts. Helena, don't get all emotional now. Concentrate on your job. While it's understandable, oh yeah, okay, so we are, it has been pounded some more, but it looks pretty good now. The Revenant, are we okay, actually? Yeah, well, we are also a bit messed up. So there is a lot of dogfighting to come here. You two, hunt down that radar yes, squadron. Sir. That heavy radar, I want you to board that one. You two attack that, yeah, or, or you also attack this one here. Because we are not really in range for anything else. You guys fly in like so. Going low. Can you actually shoot missiles? Yes, you can. Very nice. We are shooting this one here. Focusing fire. And let us shoot some missiles. The ranger needs one more turn. Um, so the manticore can actually fly around so. Like what about the ranger? And the ranier can shoot missiles. So let's shoot, let's shoot this one here like so. We are protecting the base star. Focusing fire there. We are shooting missiles into it. Like, let's fly even like yes, so. Yes, sir. Um, you guys, fly like this. Go lower as well. Focus fire there. And then we are flying. Um, yeah. No, let's not, let's not fly like this, shooting at this one. And I actually, I don't want to shoot any missiles at the Cerberus yet. We're only shooting with this, uh, with the Artemis, uh, because uh, she's so close. Um, but otherwise I want the armor piercers to come in first, so we are shooting at the Cerberus. This one, doesn't really say which. Where radar squadron has already launched, but I guess they are. Oh yeah, well they they have only a rather small engines over there, but I guess they have uh, still a lot of uh, radars in them. So it would be nice to explode this one here as quickly as possible. Yeah. 
Oh, but it's fine actually. So you guys, you are on these war drivers. You guys are on this war driver. That's good. You guys. You help out over there. What do we have here? We have three squadrons and we are in trouble. We are in a lot of trouble there. And we could actually recall them probably. Yeah, I guess we need to recall them, but then they are behind. Yeah. Okay, now let's recall them. Recalling squadron. You guys. No, I think it's probably a really bad idea to recall them. So you attack this one. You are on this one. And you guys are on this Squadron one. Squadron target is confirmed. Well, you guys are going for that one. Yeah, that's good. These radars, they are all going for that one. So let's use you. One, two, three, to go for this one here. Yes, that's the best we can do right now. And, oh yeah, and sorry, the base star needs to put some energy into a weapon control. So let's reduce the navigation, all energy to weapon, hangar. Yeah, no, I think it's fine like this. Systems like have been so. updated. We are shooting with the turrets on that one. And we are firing missiles. Well, the Talons are also coming for the base star now. Um, yeah. Yeah, let's shoot at the Cerberus now. Let's shoot at this one. There. Yes, sir. And let's actually watch how the uh, how the turrets are actually uh, working. So, ending the turn. Yeah, they are. Okay, they do have something. Yeah. Squadron has gone dark. Okay, one squadron is down. Revenant is exploding down there. That's good. <laughs> Now you, you are actually out of danger for the moment. System processes, so we can actually reduce engineering. Subsystems repair and squadron repair, no, it's fine. Zero, navigation all in. Fire control is at the maximum. Yeah, actually fire control can also be reduced again. We do have a lot of micromanagement with this one. Why is it not working? Ah, oh, yeah. Um, hangers at maximum, armory needs to be at maximum. Let's go like this. Yeah, and actually we don't need fire control. I guess it's fine like this. Hangar. The armory because we want to board now. So let's fly away a bit like so and going low. Like this and away from the from from the talons. Why is this one happening? Uh, why is the war driver not destroyed? Oh no, the war, war driver just turned around the missiles. Oh come on. Well, then under these circumstances, we do need engineering. Um, uh, that's bad. Well, then. Fire control, forget. And well, then let's reduce this one here. Let's do it. This one, let's have 100% boarding then. Okay, we go higher here. Oh well, then let's reduce this one to the regular amount. Like so. 
This one is at maximum. I just wish we had a number of uh, like a quick, quick thing to see this one. So hangar. So let's do it like this. We don't have any boarding strength, but the heavy radar is actually not in boarding range anyway. So we are shooting the turrets at the war driver. We are flying away like this. And our Manticore. So say we actually all. Actually. Understood. Are we crashing? Yeah, we are crashing again. Or like theoretically. Or maybe we fly like so, like this. And then we can focus on the war driver. And we are shooting the PCM here, but I think it's deploying it won't, countermeasures. Won't be enough, but I guess it's fine. So that is stupid. So then you guys failed. Why is this war driver not destroyed yet? You guys need to switch targets. We have a very massive dogfight coming around. Um, you guys you are also not doing so well there yeah we are outnumbered we are significantly outnumbered here well the Artemis you guys fly in like so now shooting focus fire there and you guys fly in like so yes sir We also focus fire on that one. And I want you to shoot the missiles there. And you guys. Now let's get one of these Cerberuses out of the sky as quickly as possible, maybe. You focus and you shoot your missiles at this one as well. And our frigates. Are we actually in range? Yes, we are. So the frigates fly forward, present left broadside, like so, going yes, a bit Commander. lower. Firing over there. This heavy radar. Oh, it's a heavy radar, yeah. Um, well, this heavy radar squadron. No, that's the. Eh? Why do we have two heavy radars? Ah, because this one is uh, an enemy, actually. Oh. So you guys. This radar squadron, you shoot down this one. Oh, actually, yeah, you guys, you're also going for this heavy radar there. This radar squadron goes for them. You guys go for the squadron these. target is confirmed. You guys go for them. You go for them. Yeah, and both of you guys attack there. I guess that's the best we can do at the moment. And I guess that once the Cerberus is destroyed, the the squadrons of this one uh, should actually have some form of debuff or so, obviously, because it can't uh, provide them with the with the stands. So, okay, I think I didn't forget anything. Ending the turn. Yeah, well. War driver is done. Very good. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah, this one goes the up in star. flames. Very nice. Sent to Cylon Hell there. Very good. Um, oh, do we have a, a boarding action? The heavy radar is at one. 
well. Can you guys shoot this one? Oh no, there are no target. Oh, 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 oh. Boarding party. Yeah, I mean, we should be fine, right? They should be destroyed quickly enough. So, you guys, I want some concentrated fire on the Cerberus there. We wasted some missiles. I underestimated how quickly we could dispatch this one, but that's actually a good thing. You guys fly in like so. Focus fire there. You can shoot missiles, so do it on this one. And our ranger. Oh, and our left side is also a bit messed up here, so let's fly like so. We are shooting this one as well. Let's prioritize these Cerberuses. The rear is at 27. Yeah, so the base star, I think the base star is okay now. Let's rotate the, le the right, yeah, let's rotate to the front actually. Go like this. And also lower as low as we can get and subsystem we are not under threat right now so let's reduce engineering again boarding strength full hangar is full yeah and then fire fire control actually fire control is more important like that done And I guess they can just look for a target themselves. Like that. Manticore, you guys fly in a bit higher. You shoot at this one as well. And the squadron. Yeah, well, we do have a nasty dogfight going on. Vipers are being lost there. But I think we need to stand to make a stand there you guys go for this one this heavy radar yeah well oh it's a it's an enemy heavy radar oh it's an enemy heavy radar okay um let's actually shoot this one then first Yeah, you guys, can you actually... No, the boarding party is already there, so you attack yes, this sir. one. And you guys also attack this heavy radar there. And then I guess we are switching to the Cerberus anyway. Yeah, so... And then up there, things are actually not... No... Or are they actually looking badly? Radar squadron has been untouched. You guys attack there. You guys attack this one, you attack that one, you are on this one, that's good. You guys have a 2 to 1 advantage and you guys go on this Squadron one. Squadron target is confirmed. 2 to 1 ad advantage against the 5 over there, okay good. So very nice, very nice indeed, very nice indeed, yeah. And our missiles are flying the right way, right? Yeah, next turn. Yeah, it's fine. So, good. Ending the turn. Oh, that's, that was a very quick explosion over there. Looks like we destroyed the heavy raiders as well. Lots of fire coming in there. Very good. Cerberus is also melting away. Lots of debris in space now. You guys, are you actually okay? Yes, you are. Let's go low so we can start pounding the talons over there as well. Ranger left side is, is okay. Who is boarding whom? Ah, now we, are, we have one guy here or what? Did they make it? Boarding party is at three. Uh, our marines can do that. So let's let's go there. Presenting right side, like so, but we are shooting here. And 
the Rainier. Yeah, I think we can actually shoot our missiles on the Talon. Let's shoot the missiles on the Talon. You guys need three more turns. You won. Manticore is okay. Just shooting over there. Yeah, I think we are good. Yes, We're commander. Presenting the right, the front side. Oh yeah, now we are diverting all energy up to fire control. That's fine. Hangar is still fine. Armory boarding strength. Yeah. Let's shoot missiles at this one. The front is through already, and let's fire. Let's concentrate fire on that one as well. Um. Yeah. Oh, the heavy radar has been destroyed. Well, it's not ours after all. <laughs> okay then, so ending the turn. Yeah, the Talon is good. Severus has an interesting, very massive explosion there. Okay, good. Two Talons pounded at once. Excellent. Now we are flying like so, shooting over there, very good. Oh, and I think we have, yeah, we nearly, oh, we have dispatched all the raiders now, excellent. Also, they don't have, they didn't have any support and guidance from their Cerberus, very nice. Yeah, very nice indeed. Oh, and you guys, you just made it, recall, recall. Yes, These two attack that Talon. Everyone who's at full strength. You guys attack that one as well. And you also recall. Who knows what happens next? Then you two guys. Eh. Are we losing our formation here? That's not what I wanted, but well, like, ah, oh, we lost the formation in the heat of battle, but it's fine. Actually, let's fly like this. Oh no, then, did we have a problem with the left side? Yeah, a bit. So let's really stay on the right side. However, the ship will, like, roll to the left a bit, but I guess it's fine. Focusing fire. Can you shoot missiles? Oh, yes, you can. Well, then... Shoot them down there. Right and left. Yeah, okay, so the Rainier is getting some heat today. Yes, Commander. We are shooting down there. And our adamants. Are also shooting down at this one just so it dis is destroyed as quickly as possible and can't shoot at us anymore and our friendly slinger is also well can actually shoot at this one so that's nice that should be enough ending the turn yeah. good double kill oh, no not yet Oh, come on, why is it not destroyed? They are good. Double kill. Oh, do we get a triple? No, we don't. But it's fine, so. Okay. Then. Adamants, both adamants. And um, no, we need to get the posture. So, how? what was it here? Uh, re repairing our squadrons. Oh yeah, squadron repair. Oh yeah, it's here. Okay, so emergency cruiser on standby. Brigades, both full defense to increase repair speed of the squadrons. Shooting, still shooting down there. Rainier as well, full defense. 
Full repair. Repairing System repairs hangar. underway. Shooting down there. The Karelides. It's actually doing pretty well, but let's actually save uh, the missiles. Who knows what's going to happen? And we are using our forward main guns. We are not shooting any missiles at this guy. Also, a number of missiles are coming down there anyway. And then you two. Yeah, you lost one squadron. But the other one is actually at full strength, so it's actually okay. Understood. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, we, do, we, we have a space accident here. Still a space accident. You guys need to go Understood. Low. You also mess them up. So there we go. So the raiders, yeah, they are still attacking there. So we've got an interesting combined arms Onyx mission Commander. here. And this one is in weapon range now. So let us system processes or reporting strength. So lost the heavy radar. So let's increase this one here to full. Navigation doesn't matter. Yeah, it's fine. So let's do it like this. Checking long range radars. Anything happening? No. Okay, good. Ending the turn. Pounding Sub -system them. Repairs are complete. Nice. And they're destroyed. Good. Your efforts in securing my personal safety have been satisfactory, Commander. Do not pursue Sinon. We shall return the crown jewel of Colonial Fleet in return for its creator's freedom. I have use for the shipbuilder. Daedalus security confirms that Sinon has fled. He took one of our raptors and jumped during the conflict. That didn't go as quietly as we'd have liked. We'll just have to hope Kane agrees that a trader for the Galactica is a good trade. Well, that sounded like, I mean, she said it was on the data list. Uh, the guy at Sinan was on the data list, right? Like, I mean, that was what would be his uh, natural place, being a ar ship architect. So they anticipated that we would actually use our um, data list fleet in this mission. So we, I think we found a weakness in the game here. Two weaknesses, actually, in this mission. Not here uh, narrative-wise, but also that, uh, you know, that the base star is just jumping into the way. And then even, you know, we didn't even get uh, a collision there. So, which would have, I mean, you know, we don't want to complain about the outcome because it saved our ship, but on the other hand, it was totally unrealistic. Yeah. Well, well I mean, I guess it could happen that the Cylons are just jumping in. But well, still, I, uh, that was actually pretty cool, and we saw like two uh, additional Cylon um, types of ships, ship types. So let's have a replay and watch this thing again. Okay, but now we also know what the base star can do, which is actually not so much. Um, and it cannot get away. Oh yeah, there. Oh, that looks pretty nice with our Vipers flying in very nice formation as ad escorts. There, base star jumped in into the way, but fortunately our slinger crew could dodge it. How reckless! But well, and we while talking, we took the opportunity and the liberty. We took the liberty to, you know, do some discreet scans of the enemy, of the Cylons, and that actually paid off because we had a lot of good target information here. So, bypass, around the slinger there, and suddenly the Cylons are attacking. We are defending the base star. So and well, I I wasn't aware the Galactica was missing, and, and, and actually the Galactica uh, was existing in the first place here. But well, not sure if that is actually according to the law. But if you know, then please do enlighten us uh, in the comment section if you like. 
Ja, Base da ist massively rotating. First Revenant under heavy pressure and exploding, which it earned itself. So, and then, well, there was a lot of. There was a, a very intense dogfight this time. Second Revenant is destroyed. More pressure, and we put our attention, we change our attention to the first Severus. So, the Severus is actually a pretty cool ship, I have to say. Like, it looks really intimidating. Opinion. So there are lots of missiles going for it. Very nice indeed. It was time that we had a really big battle with some new stuff actually. There and it goes up. And I felt that it's this thing like explodes very massively. Way, way more than any other ship so far. Yeah, first Talon bites the space dust. Second one follows up to Toaster Hell and the last one. Understand the pressure. More than a few seconds. Very good. And we have calm, a calm space again. Nicely done, Gisela. We have another veteran, second tier veteran ship. Yeah, and our guys are coming nicely, I would say. Veterans. They are elite, the Karelides and Toto also elite. The Atlatlis is veteran and well, our Slinger is of course, well, wasn't it like the Slinger wasn't our first, one of our first Manticores, right? So, that was pretty nice. Although, you know, I feel that the narrative, uh, you know, it didn't really, oh yeah, there, are you alive? Complete chapter 10. We've got an achievement. Um. Yeah, and you know, I I don't feel that uh, that was like very convincing, but well. So now we are over there, very conveniently. There is chapter eleven, Sinon Quaid, or Sinon Quaid. Well, let's look at it. We've received a communique from Libran, sir. It's Admiral Kane, and she's not happy. We are at war, Commander. We cannot afford traitors to flourish in our ranks unpunished. The Quorum wants Sinon brought to the Intercolonial Courts on treason charges immediately. Capture him. Alive. Otherwise, I'll have you and Agathon escorted from the Daedalus in handcuffs. Commander, Sinon didn't have time to disable his navigation transponder before jumping, so we've got a pretty good pin on his location. Priority objective is to retrieve Sinon from the Cylons. Alive. Then, maybe we can go looking for Galactica, before Kane changes her mind and relieves us anyway. Like, since when are we the bad guys? Like, why are we being threatened to be put in handcuffs? <laughs> like, like, why? I mean, there could be an accident or something. Why are we being threatened to be put in handcuffs now? But well, so the last set of jump coordinates from Sinon's shuttle put him in orbit around Virgon. Southern resistance is expected, only Sinon is required alive. Oh, and there we get the Jupiter blueprint, okay. And speaking of blueprints, we got something, right? Did we? <gasps> no, we didn't. What? Don't we get another ship? What? What? We didn't get anything new? Oh, come on. This, what? We didn't... What, 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 what? We didn't get anything. Oh, now that is disappointing. No, well, nothing. Not one new ship. Okay, well, that's another bad thing about the game. Sorry, so, but guys, developers out there, you know, the, after this battle and like with the chapter mission and so on, there needs to be some form of reward and we didn't get anything. I think, right? Or am I am I wrong here? I mean, we got some tillium out of this thing, but like, that's disappointing. So then we've got separatists on we Helios need to Gamma. We deal with SDU militia forces outside of Sagittarion. Go give them a lesson in diplomacy. Good. We are gaining one officer. Okay. And then there's one over there. Hostile contact. Cylon forces have been interfering with travelers between the colonies. No civilians are currently present, so maximum force is encouraged. 
Well, I mean, we would always destroy the Cylons anyway. So, well. So that is, I have to say, like, that's that wasn't very convincing for me, like everything. Like having, I mean, I criticized several uh, several points and all at all in the same, uh, or around the same mission. So that's really not so good. But well, we had talked about flaws of the game, right? So now we have added some more requisition points. You don't even need anything. That is really a bit sad. I had actually looked forward to getting the Jupiter now or something. And we didn't give... Did we get a ship here or what? But well, let's have a look at the intelligence report. The governor of PyCon is requesting intervention. And PyCon, why are... Oh. Why is their stance reduced now? But well, Caprica is doing pretty nicely. People are confident. 57 now. No one else. They just take our service for granted, these guys. Huh? Hmm. The government of PyCon is requesting intervention. Captain of Margaliesburg from Colonial Fleet is requesting emergency repairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sijint has intercepted details of a secondary objective at Thanatos. There is more stuff though. Why is there only three here? Anyway, but well. Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, I am slightly disappointed, but still, it was a pretty cool mission. Um, but there was more potential there, and also, like, the, the writing was a little bit unconvincing, but whatever. So, we do have other... They, they need to be repaired here for 15, so... Constance has the strongest fleet in the system, I think. Albina, so 4-3, and she has 5-2, yeah. Yeah, and she can recharge for 10, so we are directly doing this one here. While Thanatos is actually... Sagittarion. While Thanatos is of course of no concern for us. But let's get this stuff done. Libran. Like, where's Libran? There, 45. Yeah. Let's get this thing out of the, uh, out of the system. Jumping. There. Confirm jump. Confirm. There you go. Then. Yeah, you guys, you are still recharging. You were supposed to fly over there, right? Yeah, no, it's this one. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, she can actually... Let's transfer her there. There you go. So, Pamela has a nice battle star for herself as well now. Amarogosa. Amarogosa. Um, yeah, the others, yeah, they were meant here for this one. Okay. 20 Tilium. This is also 20. Cancel run. Let's actually, let's fly there. Let's cancel run, yeah. Let's do it before anything bad happens. For 20, we will survive the costs. Yes. And you as well. There. There you go. Then, anything to repair? No, no, no. You guys, you are here. Another frigate. So we do have four, five, six ships. And they... Yeah, we don't have enough points for a frigate, I think. But... Hope can actually use another frigate here. So this one, the Adirondack jumps over there. And I think we need to do the mission Fleet with the dead or ready to jump. It's Hestia. Yeah, and we actually we can do it. Cylon forces have been interfering with so travelers between the colonies. Role. No civilians are currently present, so maximum force is encouraged. Well, and we could actually try out the Montpellier. So let's do that. 
So. Yeah, let's do that. Let's jump over there. Let's jump there. I plotted the jump coordinates, sir. Then, with you guys here, just for the fortification purpose. And, yeah, Brandon. We just wait. We are just waiting there. So, then here, we. We got hit a bit, Wilbert's fleet, but that's fine. Here we've, oh yeah, that was a bit more costly, but Gisela, I think that was, that was pretty fine. That was a pretty nice mission. Also like the outcome, repairing everything here for 19, very good. Our logistics and supply lines are all doing well, so and that's all. All right, I think we are done for the management. We are going to have all these missions here. We were ready for it. And yeah, we're just holding the line over there. No one needs to go hunting anybody. And in this system, well, it's PyCon. Which one was PyCon again here? It's there, okay, well, why? We have a fortification there and it's even like a nice fleet with Heimerich. Why are the Pycons, Pyconians uh, complaining? Well, maybe it's even a base star fleet, who knows? So they, they, they have uh, 7,900. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, well, we'll see. Okay, then. So I think we don't have anything else. No blueprints. We don't need to build any ships. We do have a lot of resources now. And yeah, we'll have more eventually once we get these special missions done. Yeah, that was... Yeah, we have to end the, the turn, so let's see what happens. Cylon escort group Jumping has been around detected. there, okay. Base Cylons star are more group active now. Oh, a base star group has been detected again. Battlestar group is under attack. All right. There we go, that's at PyCon. Yeah, and that was the chapter 10 mission. That was actually pretty nice. And then, yeah, after that will be chapter 11. But we will not do that one for like two or three turns, I guess. Um, yeah, and now I'm actually looking forward to our Daedalus mission over there because then we will see our carrier in action. So let's see. Yeah, that being th uh, said, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked this one. If you liked it a tiny little bit at least, please do click the like button and consider strongly to, supply, uh, to subscribe to the channel because that helps tremendously, as you know, with the growth and all, and with my happiness and the community's happiness. Thank you so much. Also, you will never ever miss an episode again that way. And if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. You know, the community is very nice, very helpful, and appreciates your thoughts. See you next time. Bye-bye.